<laughs> what up guys Ben Saul back with another video welcome to Bud Tending 101 chapter 2 today's discussion will be about terpenes I know you probably heard a lot about terpenes so I'm going to give a little bit of information on the base terpenes that are found in cannabis. Terpenes are compounds in cannabis plants that give that base smell and flavor. A recent study that came out states that some of the exotic flavors we are tasting in cannabis are now due to what's called flavonoids, not uh, terpenes. For example, when you taste a cream or a strawberry flavor strain, studies are showing that the flavonoids, 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 whatever, that are in those fruits are also found in some of the cannabis strains. Terpenes give the strain its base. Some of the base flavors would be pepper, woody, uh, citrus, pine, floral, and others. Terpenes are responsible for many therapeutic benefits. There is a synergistic relationship of effects a specific cannabis strain will provide. When I mean synergistic, it means that when you fuse two different compounds together, they each boost each other. So they have, a they have what's called the entourage effect. They help each other and they boost each other's effects. The main terpenes that I'm going to talk about today, those five we can categorize into two separate categories. Stimulating or relaxing and three subcategories, earthy, sweet, or sharp. There are many different terpenes. Let's get that out the way. I'm just going to concentrate on the most common. I will have another video about the other terpenes. If you hear me repeat some things about these terpenes, it's because I put together this information from two different sources. Pinene is the first terpene we're going to talk about. This is going to be considered earthy and stimulating. Pinene under the earthy category is found in basil, pine, parsley, and rosemary. Pinene is also considered a stimulant. The aroma is pine, wood, sharp. Good for alertness, pain relief, memory retention, asthma, anti-anxiety. Pinene is considered to be an angiolytic, anti-inflammatory, antibiotic, increased muscle motility, and antiproliferate. 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 Pinene has an ability to offset the negative effects associated with THC. It can help reduce anxiety, elevated heart rate, and memory impairment often associated with THC. If you're looking to experience the euphoria of psychotropics found in THC without all the brain fog, look for a variety of strains with the dominant concentration of pinene. Pinene is non-toxicating, causes alertness, facilitates memory and attention, reduces pain, anti-inflammatory, inhibit cancer cell growth, antioxidant, bronchial dilator, and has antibiotic properties. Man, that's a mouthful. Second terpene would be limonene. Sweet, stimulating. Limonene can be found in eucalyptus, citrus rinds, peppermint, rosemary. Aroma will be citrus, tangy, sweet. Good for digestion, anxiety, heartburn, depression, and the immune system. Limonene is also an anxiolytic, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, immune modulator, and it may help with acid reflux. When combined with cannabinoids in general, limonene may increase anti-inflammatory and immune re regulatory potential. 
When combined with THCV and CBD, limonene may decrease appetite and regulate weight loss. Also may help with other cannabis compounds diffuse across the skin and mucous membranes more effectively. Limonene is non-toxicating, reduces anxiety, relieves depression, anti-inflammatory, inhibit tumor growth, antioxidant, gastroprotective promotes bowel motility and digestive balance reduces acid reflux indigestion and GERD or GERD promotes detoxification dissolves gallstones improves metabolism and facilitates weight loss protects and cleans the liver from fatty acid buildup Wow aids in transdermal absorption antibacterial antifungal next terpene would be terpinaline it's going to be listed uh, sharp and stimulating terpinaline can be found in sage apples tea tree cumin lilacs and turnips aroma is going to be sharp diesel and fresh good for anxiety focus energy relaxation and sleep that's weird it's got energy and relaxation but okay a uh, side note about terpinaline terpinaline is considered to be stimulating when paired with THC but a sedative when isolated terpinaline is an anti-inflammatory antioxidant antifungal antiploriferate anti-proliferate may help with oh man art may help with arteriosclerosis and coronary heart disease in cannabis terpinaline most likely contributes to cerebral stimulation and may create an energy boost as well as racing thoughts for some, this experience is positive because it promotes productivity and focus. For others, this experience can be negative because you will not be able to gather your thoughts. You'll just be stuck in your head. Next terpene is going to be myrcene. Categorized as earthy, relaxing. Myrcene can be found in basil, thyme, mangoes, and lemongrass. Aroma will be earthy, musky, fruity. Good for pain relief, relaxation, muscle tension, depression. Myrcene is considered an anti-inflammatory, anti-carcinogenic, and muscle relaxant. As a cannabis compound, myrcene most likely contributes to relaxing experience when combined with THC and CBD. Myrcene may act as a potent neuroprotective agent and antioxidant. Cannabis varieties with high concentration of myrcene may serve to help protect the brain from inflammation and injury. Myrcene is considered non-toxicating but enhances psychoactive effects, causes drowsiness, at a greater concentration of 0 0.05 relieves depression reduces pain and is considered to be an antispasmodic man these words are killing me anti-inflammatory inhibits cell mutation antioxidant anti-diabetic and aids with transdermal absorption and has antibiotic properties Next terpene, linalool or linealool, whatever, categorized as sweet and relaxing. Also found in lavender, sweet basil, cinnamon. Linealool is considered to be an anti-anxiety, sedative, antidepressant, immune potentiator, analgesic, antioxidant, as a terpene in cannabis, linalool most likely contributes to a sedative, stress-relieving experience 
and may help elevate mood, alleviate stress and anxiety, calming both the mind and the body. Linalool is also an anti-convulsant making it essential ingredient for cannabis medicines that help with seizure disorders. Non-toxicating, antipsychotic, reduces anxiety, causes drowsiness. Considered the most sedative terpene, relieves depression, relieves pain, anti-epileptic, anti-inflammatory, treats breast cancer, reduces nausea, inhibits acne. Last but not least, carophylline or karyophylline, whatever, categorized as sharp and relaxing. This is probably one of the most famous because it's in a lot of strains. Also found in black pepper, thyme, or thyme, clove, cinnamon, hops. Aroma is going to be spicy, peppery, woody. See what I mean? Most of the strains all have that spicy, peppery kind of flavor. Good with anxiety, pain, depression, inflammation, relaxation of muscle tension. Karyophylline is an anti-inflammatory, analgesic, muscle relaxant, anxiolytic, antidepressant. There is a debate with karyophylline whether it should be classified as a terpene or a cannabinoid since it interacts so strongly with our endocannabinoid system. When combined with THC, karyophylline exhibits an increase in anti-nausea and anti-itch efficacy. When combined with CBD, karyophylline exhibits an increased anti-inflammatory efficacy. Some of the known effects for karyophylline for mental state, non-intoxicating, reduces anxiety, causes drowsiness, reduces pain, including neuropathy, relieves depression, reduces alcohol and nicotine cravings, also considered to be an antiseptic. Karyophylline is also good for inflammation and combat autoimmune disorders inhibits tumor growth and is an antioxidant gastroprotective relieves inflammatory bowel disease also is an anti-diabetic karyophylline is also an antiseptic antibacterial and antifungal there you have it ladies and gentlemen these are the base flavors in cannabis now that you know some of these flavors, the terpenes, uh, you probably can start identifying with some of them, especially the karyophylline. That's probably in maybe, what, 75% of the strains out there. Gorilla Glue has a lot of karyophylline in it. You can taste that pepper and Gorilla Glue. I hope this was very helpful for you. Again, I will uh, come out with another video about the other terpenes because we have a lot more there's humulene and osamine and yeah so we I could keep going trust me but yeah I wanted to get you started on some of the terp terpenes and some of the medicinal benefits that the terpenes provide and when you mix these certain terpenes together how they may affect our bodies so thank you for watching I appreciate you I hope this helps a lot and stay tuned peace